So if you haven't seen my previous video, Misfits 9 was just announced and one of the fighters on this card is Face Temper looking for redemption. Coming off of that big loss to KSI, he's looking for a big moment, a big spark here, looking up to light up the show and put his name back in the mix. There are some training footage released of him that just might release some insight to his game plan coming into this next fight. So let's check it out. You get hit with the up jab because you're not realizing you're bringing it from here. Yeah. It's not a standard jab. You're seeing the ones from here. Yeah, yeah. And when you go here, it's like getting through your guard and you're going like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't fucking tell me you got me fucking happening. So I know this little clip might not seem like a lot to you guys, but it is very, very telling to me. So first off, you can clearly see that his coaches are very well rounded. They know what they're doing. They know what type of fighter they have. They know his build and they are working based on that build. If you have seen, if you see this type of training, go ahead and look this up. You can see very, very similar training from Dimitri Bivol, someone who took down the face of boxing Canelo Alvarez. You can see he's adopting more of that kind of amateur boxing type style, that in and out, in and out, one twos, very straight shots, just the basics, working on the basics, working on that footwork, working on those straight shots. You don't want any of those fancy hooks, no none of that. Utilize that reach, step in, land your shots, step out, step in, land one two, step out. Very, very basic stuff, but very, very vital stuff. As we've seen, you know, Dimitri V. Bull does the same thing. He does this same thing and he was able to go out there and beat Canelo Alvarez. So very, very smart training for someone with the build, the size, and the athleticism of face temper. I really like how he's training. As you can see, he does have his groin protector on too. So he must have just finished a few rounds of sparring. And his coach was telling him at the end of that video that you got to be more careful and more cautious with that up jab. That, but that up jab is going to give everyone problems. As you saw, King Kenny utilizes that up jab really, really well. If someone who knows how to utilize it properly and has the athleticism to get back on their guard and put up defense real quick, it is a double-edged sword because if you're not, don't have the athleticism, you can very easily get caught. But if you do and you're quick, the up jab is so snappy, it's hard to see because it's coming from the hip. You know what I mean? Normally in boxing, you're looking at like the shoulder, chest area because these are normally where the hands are. But when the hand is down here, it's going to be hard to see or... It's not going to be hard to see. You'll, you'll be able to see it, but you're just not going to be able to react to it as quick as you would from a jab from up here when your eyes are already up here. So it's it, it's good stuff, good tips. And you can see his training partners, they're, they're giving him a ton of looks if his training partners are shooting that up jab really quick and catching them with it. They're not no slouches. If they're catching them with that up jab, they're, they're going to be skilled fighters doing that. So I expect to see some great, great improvements come to his fight and... You know, this training footage, it really does show a lot. With this style of fighting, he might not get the spectacular, crazy knockout that all of you want to see. But at the end of the day, he needs a win. He needs to get a win. He needs to build that confidence back up. He needs to boost himself back up. He needs to show the haters and prove the haters and prove to everyone doubting him that he is still one of those guys. So he just needs to go out there and get a W. I honestly don't see him getting a knockout. And I don't care to see him get a knockout because... For him, this fight is probably do or die. If he loses this fight, it's going to be a major, major hit. And some something like that, a blow like that to someone in boxing, in, in a sport where it's all on you, it's going to weigh down on him big time. And we might not see him fight again. And I, I would love to, I like watching him fight. He's not a bad fighter. So hopefully he can figure things out and get back on the right track. Plus with him being a southpaw, come on now, man. He can easily cause guys problems up there. We, we should, to be honest, we should be rooting for this guy because if he can figure it out and get these things together, he could really, really be a major challenge for those guys up at the top of those divisions that he's going to be fighting in. But some really, really good training here for Faze Temper. It looks like he's improving well and developing his skills and, 
you know, pushing his strengths a little more, focusing more on his strengths rather than going in and fighting the other fighters fight. As we saw from someone like Slim, he got into that brawl, he got knocked out. With someone like KSI, he got caught in the crossfire, got caught lacking, he went to sleep. So, you know, temper, it's, it's good to see that he's working on the fundamentals and he's working on his strengths. He's working on that jab in, he's working on that distance management. That's what's going to be very, very important to him and key to him to win these next fights if he wants to continue doing this influencer boxing. At the end of the day, not everyone can be Mike Tyson. Not everyone could be George Foreman. Not everyone can just have that touch of death and knock people out with one punch. Some people, they have to fight this way. It might not be the pretty fancy knockout that we want to see, but a W is a W. And I expect Face Temper, if he goes in and he looks like this in this fight, he should walk home a winner. All right, let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know what you think about his matchup with Jinty. I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. I'll catch you in the next video.